Hi guys, welcome to YN Tutor. This is lesson number 35 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful splatter effect on the text. Later in our coming lesson, we will apply this effect to the picture as well. But right now, we are going to learn how to do with the text. So let me show you how it works. You can see that my pick tool is selected and our text is now selected in my page. If I will click on this disperse uh, splatter effect, you can see that it is a separate, it is a vector object. Okay. And you can see that I have four copies of the same effect here in the lower portion. We have two and uh, on the top of R and O, you can see that here we have uh, also the same and we rotate it and relook it. So if I will click it, you can see that we can move it and uh, our text is also trimmed with this splatter effect. So how to create this type of effect? This is the brush I created in Photoshop, but for your practice purpose, if you want to get this type of effect, you can go in the Google and you can type splatter paint black. Okay. You can just type splatter paint also, but it will give you the colorful effect that is quite hard to fix in Coral Draw. You need to put the splatter paint black in the Google search. It will give you the splatter effect in black color. So it is easy to trace as a bitmap inside Coral Draw. So you don't need to make any further color adjustment. You need to type this in the Google splatter paint black and it will give you a lot of samples there. Any one of them you like, you can just save in your computer and then import in Coral Draw. And I'm going to explain you how to work with that. Let's say you saved already in your computer. You can open it like this. You can go to the file, import, and you can see that I have my effect here saved. This is a JPEG image. I will just click it. You can save JPEG or PNG image. It's okay because later on we need to convert to bitmap and then we will trace it. So I'm going to take this JPEG image I have here and import. Let's import here. If I will bring it here, you can see that it is having a background. So directly we cannot work with this. The first thing we need to convert to the vector object. Okay. And then we can use it. So let's see how it's done. Let me move these things to the side. Okay. So here we have in our page, I am going to trace it since it is a picture. It is a bitmap directly Coral Draw is giving option here. You can see that. So I will click on trace bitmap, but make sure that you are not going to trace as a quick trace. Why? Because if you will lose the detail, you can see that small dots we have here around. And once you will make a quick trace, you might lose the detail of this effect. So what you need to do, you need to go to the outline trace and click on line art. Okay. So once you will click on line art, you can see that before and after and almost we got the same detail that we have here. Okay. Once it is done, it shows the transparent background this way. It's mean it's already traced. So you can click. Okay. Now in the same place, we have another copy that is a vector. If I will move it, you can see that this is a vector object. And anytime I want, I can change color. Look at this. Now Coral Draw is behaving this as a shape, as an object vector element that we can modify with the shape tool even. So now we don't need this. We are going to delete it. And here we have our brush, our effect. So let's type text, click on text tool and type text. I'm going to type our channel name. All right. It's a good idea to apply some bold font. So the effect, it will be really clear. I'm going to increase the size and uh, I will choose Arial black. That is fine. So here we are going to fill color text directly. You can trim with any vector object. So this is a vector. I will just bring it here somewhere. Any other color we can fill. So we will know the difference. Now you can see that if I will bring this text here, the text is in the front and our splatter effect, it is in the back. Since we want to trim the text with this effect. So we will select first this splatter effect, not the text select this first and then press shift key from the keyboard and click on the 
y and tutor tags. The first object is a splatter effect. So that will be trimmed with the text. So if I will click on the trim now, you can see that here we have option. From the text, that part is trimmed. You can see that. So we need to repeat the same process. We'll select our splatter effect and bring it here down somewhere here. While it is selected, you need to select first this effect. Then press shift key and click on text. And once again, click on trim. Click outside. You can see that it is affecting our text. Now, once again, I will just bring it somewhere here. Maybe I will reduce the size a little bit. While it is selected, press shift key and click on the text and trim. Okay, it is done. And uh, once again, if I want, I can just trim maybe in this area. Okay, that is enough. Press shift key and select the text and click on trim. Now simply what we need to do, we need to keep it here somewhere. We need to make multiple copies. Press plus key and bring it down. If you want, you can reduce the size and rotate it just like this. Press plus key. Randomly, you need to give the size, not exactly the same. Once again, we can copy and uh, here we can increase a little bit. All right. Now you can see that we located already and all what you have to do now, you need to select all of them, four copies, including text, select this way and simply click on weld. Once you will click on the weld, everything will become one object. This how this beautiful effect we apply on the text. Now it is a vector and any color we want, we can just fill it. You can see that. So this is how simple it is. You can apply this beautiful effect on the text. In our coming lesson, we will be learning how to disperse or splatter the picture, the image. That's another lesson. But for practice, you can just type this splatter paint black in Google and it will give you a lot of sample. One of them, you can save it as a JPEG and import the way I did in Corel Draw and follow the instruction from this video. You will get it. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.